Okay, today a blues. Um, more specifically, a blues from the king of the Delta blues, Robert Johnson. Now, the, Robert Johnson recorded, I think, 28 tracks over a two or three day, uh, two or three days of separate uh, recording sessions um, in a hotel room. Um, very difficult to determine. Uh, what key they're in because the other thing about recording in those days and really right up until the the digital age is that uh, between recording uh, onto tape or onto um, acetate as they did back in Robert Johnson's day um, and and getting copies pressed then that are out and sold there's a lot of scope for uh, pitch to change in fact there's a whole um, a lot of people out there who believe that that uh, the recordings of Robert Johnson are, are sped up and accordingly making his voice very high, uh, piercingly high. And um, there's if you go onto YouTube, you can uh, you can find where uh, some people have slowed them down, and they actually, <laughs> I've got to say, make a lot of sense when you hear the slowed down version. So look, I've worked this out <laughs> in the key of G. Um, it, it's it's sort of got Robert Johnson type devices in it with the playing with the guitar playing it's a pretty straightforward sort of blues uh, one of his more straightforward ones and there's no instrumental part in it so I thought I'd do it an easier one today for uh, people uh, to digest um, can I just say before I play the song though that that over the years when I've performed uh, particularly in festivals and, and in folk clubs and what have you that if I do a Robert Johnson tune or any um, classic blues or there'll always be some idiot comes up to me afterwards and says well you know that uh, little lick that you played at the uh, 10th bar of the fourth verse uh, Robert Johnson only played that particular lick at the uh, you know third bar of the second verse uh, now you know to any of those people who feel inclined to comment to that uh, in that sort of manner uh, get a life Johnson did it on that day that recording in that hotel room because he felt that way you can almost guarantee he never played those songs exactly the same way before or after the date that they were recorded um, so don't be pedantic about that uh, learn the uh, various sort of um, playing devices that he used and incorporate them yourself in in your own playing that way you are uh, introducing your own style if you like you're playing it your way um, so anyway without further ado I shall play for you uh, love in vain which is one of his better known ones I suppose um, and then we'll break it down Well, I followed her to the station A suitcase in my hands And I followed her to the station A suitcase in my hands And it's hard, it's so hard When all your love's in vain station I looked her in the eye When that train pulled into the station Well I looked her in the eye You know I felt so lonesome All I could do was cry Oh my love's in vain When that train left Two lights on behind When that train left the station Two lights on behind Blue light was my blues Red light was my mind Oh my love's in vain Ooh, Willie, man. 
me So hard when all your love's in vain Okay, um, forgot some of the lyrics there, so uh, some lines came in a bit late, but that's okay, you get the idea, and you can look up the lyrics yourself and get them in the right order. Uh, so we'll just start this off, a um, little intro that's pretty rough and ready when, when Johnson played it as, as well, um, and what I'm doing here is I've got the my index finger on my 10th fret of the treble E string, my uh, now you can use either your middle finger or your ring finger on the uh, I use the ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string on my right hand because I'm using a thumb pick it's easy because I'm playing those two together works without a thumb pick as well though you've just got to brush across those two and then you just go down a fret Then another fret, and that's just uh, the seventh fret of the treble E string and the eighth fret of the B string. So that whole intro. Then he does a little turn around. Uh, one of the tricks of the blues, of course, is turn around that can be used as as an intro, or uh, as an ending, or between verses. So, you've got ring finger, little finger, what well, doesn't really matter, on your um, treble E at the third fret. I've got middle finger. So that's just, I'm playing the B string, which is an open string, with that D string. And then I'm playing the treble E and then the B again. down one fret and there's a bit of a pause there and you can do that little tap with your fingers if you want just to give a bit of percussiveness there so it goes all the way down that D string and into a D chord D seventh chord know that little D seventh chord, a little triangle like that, index finger, middle finger, ring finger. I'm wrapping my thumb around the back of the neck and playing the F sharp note on the bass E string, second fret. Because it gives me a nice low bass. And that's just whatever to finish the bar. Then we just go to a G. Um, well I followed her to the station. Now what I'm doing there, I should say to the thumb here is what's called dead thumb. Uh, we're not alternating the, the bass, we're just playing that boom, boom in 4-4 four, four time. One, two, three, four. Well I've followed her and I'm just there playing the three strings together with my index, middle and ring. Well I've followed her to the station. Now what I did there was I moved my little finger into the B string on the third fret and if you followed my last couple of videos you'd be familiar with that shape and then I'm playing the seventh note of the chord which is the F on the first fret of the treble E string. So well, I followed her to the station. So that's just playing. Well, I followed her to the station right then I just I, I took the whole chord down and slid up but I'm only really playing the, the, the B string and as I slide back up the whole chord slides back up and then, and then I hit the bass E and the treble E so again well, I followed her to the station as 
suitcase in my hand. Now, I'm breaking my normal finger picking rule here. If you've followed some of my really earlier um, the teaching videos on YouTube where I talk about the index finger always playing the G, middle finger playing the B, and ring finger playing the treble E. Um, rules are meant to be broken, of course, and, and I break them here. Now, you don't need to. I could do that with the right, with just sticking to that, those rules. So I could go, well, I followed her to the station the suitcase in my hand but I'm moving across and using my index and middle fingers for that I think they just they just uh, work a bit more smoothly for this particular thing where you're playing those that fast little it works better than trying to do it with your middle and ring you get a little bit more muscle behind it I suppose and after you've done that you go to the sea well I found her to the station back down to that G with the little finger down there and the, there suitcase in my hand to the D seventh with the F sharp in the bass back to a normal G with your little finger on the third fret of the treble E well, it's hard. Need it hard. That's an A7th. Now, I'm, all I'm doing for that is a bar across four strings on the second fret. And you can either use that finger on the treble E at the third. I use the uh, ring finger so I can sort of double up the pressure there a little bit with that finger on there. It's hard, need it hard. To the D7th. When all my love's in vain. Then we do our little turnaround. All my love's in vain at the beginning right so very slowly through that because that's all there is that's the entire song four verses no instrumentals no changes that's the whole thing so imagine the intro has been done well I followed her to the station the suitcase in my hand Followed her to the station The suitcase in my hand It's hard, it's hard to tell That's all there is to that song. Now you'll notice that sometimes I'm just filling in bars when I go to the C. The most important thing always is that bass. Thump, thump. And apart from a couple of those little set runs that I've given you, like that sort of thing, anything else can be whatever you feel like, as much or as little with the fingers. It's the dead thumb. It's the getting that beat. So that's all you love in vain.